Hey everyone, you've seen me post pictures like this before, right? Telephony access control systems outside of buildings, especially the Door King system series of products, right? With that famous 16120 key, lets you access the inside of the panel. What does it mean if you can look at a box like this and get to the inside of the panel? Well, it means it doesn't matter if you don't have the code or don't have the RFID badge. If you can access that circuitry right on the board, you can do things like change the state of the relays, jump out contacts, override all the security that someone's trying to implement. And it's not just me popping open boxes like this and then entering properties, right? It's not just me demonstrating this to clients. We've had people reach out, and I've worked with people after the fact where there's been a break-in. Like, this is a guy who comes around a corner, does something with the Door King box, fiddles about with the open panel, and then waltzes right in and proceeded to steal some stuff. So it's actually become such a problem that Door King themselves has publicized, hey, we're moving away from the 16120 key, we're going to change keys. And of course, locksmiths and others in the industry have said, by the way, you want to buy the new keys, we've got them. And then I found this, right? So have a look at what's going on here. Even though you can swap that lock out, either from Door King or from a third party, some folk are taking it a step further. This is the first time I ever saw this. A bar, a bar running across the whole cabinet with a padlock, right? And I thought, how weird is that? And then I saw another one. This one's on a Centex, similar type of product, right? A telephony access control box, completely different city. And then my buddy Ian sent me this photo. This is. Not firearms Ian, this is lawyer Ian. Well, he's actually also a firearms guy. He's he's Canada Ian, we'll call him that. I would call him really nice Ian, because he's in Canada, but you know, other Ian McCollum's also nice. So this is Ian Runkel, right? My buddy Ian sends me this photo. He's like, look at this. We've got a master trailer hitch lock here. It's either their 2866 series or 1469 series. Uh, nice. And it's mounted on with these plates. It almost looks like the locksmith who did this drilled out the fasteners and just kind of turned the rod down, which if you have a lathe, you could make any rod kind of fit into this coupling. And it's just a really neat mod. Again, like people are starting to do this. Now, is it a very good lock to use in this application? I wouldn't really say so. Uh, this series of trailer hitch locks, only four pin. They're not very aggressive. There's plenty of video on YouTube of people blasting through them, but folk are trying to put thought into this, right? You notice the locksmith who designed and put this in, they actually installed it in a way so as to block the key access for the cabinet lock behind the bar. So this, it's really neat, man. It's really neat to see innovation. Now, does that mean that you couldn't just maybe find the building key inside of any one of these other lock boxes that are storing keys right next to the panel? I mean, maybe you could do that, of course, you know. But I like it. If, if you're concerned about your security, maybe you speak to someone who's rolling something custom. Talk to your local locksmith and talk to me to ask how I would get in a different way. If I can't get in one way, I'm going to find another, you know. But uh, yeah, just keep it in mind. Keep new things in mind. Find out what the, new, the newest hotness is and maybe do that if you need to. Wherever you are, wherever you go, whatever you do, stay safe out there.